What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Balanced Perception YouTube channel. And today, as you can see, we are in a different location. I'm actually in the garage because today's episode called for me to switch locations. What is today's episode? Well, as you guys probably saw by the title, we are going to be editing, well, not editing, but basically finishing up these new prints that I have for my Etsy store. As you guys know, I love League of Legends, and this is my new Hunt uh, Kindred mask. We have lamb and wolf, or wolf and lamb, whichever side here. But basically, we have to take off the supports from this one, and we have to get the back smooth. The front of this, we need to sand down a bit, so that is what we're going to be doing today in this episode. Then we'll likely be moving back upstairs and uh, actually coloring in these with the colored paint pens that I have. If you guys saw the episode where I did Thresh's Lantern. But yes, all that is gonna be happening, so stick around, let's check it out. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so as I said today, we would be finishing up these items. They are fresh off the printers. I have new items printing right now. They're constantly going and yeah, they're a lot of work, but they're a lot of fun. Anyways, I digress. That's what we're gonna be doing today. These two pieces here printed with PLA. To edit them, we're going to be using, of course, sandpaper. Well, to finish them, we're gonna be using sandpaper. I have 1000 all the way to 240 grit. We're gonna start with our 240, work our way down, so we'll up technically to the 1000. And to be doing that, we'll be using a hand sander, an orbital sander, I guess, you know, a Black & Decker. This is nothing special, it's like 20 something bucks. Um, I, my other one broke, unfortunately. So I wanted to do this episode earlier, but I had to get a new one, but I've had that one for like, I don't know, 10 plus years, so it was all right. But anyways, we are going to be doing that, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, it just came a little while ago, so I haven't even unpackaged it yet, as you can see. So let's do that and get it done. All right, so as you guys have seen me do many times before, the first thing we have to do is pop off the supports, a wide array of tools here, needle nose pliers of different types and a small screwdriver, and the scraper I use actually for my 3D printer bed. So let's go ahead and pop off those supports. And of this piece. All right guys, so I removed a good amount of the support material, but this was printed before I have my new you know, print settings or whatever, so like with Acura, so the support's stuck way tighter than it's supposed to, but you know, normally it's not supposed to be this difficult to remove them. Sorry if you guys hear a lot of noise too, the wind is currently crazy outside my house right now, so like yeah, it's just like beating on the uh, garage door, but anyways, yes, yeah, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead we removed a lot of it, so we're gonna switch to our 240 grit, which is a very low grit number, so it should remove a ton of material and try to get the rest of it off and then work our way back. So let's do that. All right, so we have our Black & Decker Orbital, uh, oh my gosh, sander, there we go, that we're gonna be using for this. I went ahead and bought these 240 grit uh, sandpaper pieces they just simply stick on there. This is Velcro, these have a Velcro back. You just line it up with the holes on here and it simply sticks on like so. Then we're good to go. So let's go ahead and see how much more we can remove. So from this to let's see what the final product is gonna be.
right, so I don't know how long that was. It wasn't terribly long. I still got, you know, uh, plastic all over me. She really should have worn eye protection, but yeah. Anyways, as you guys can see, this is the piece that we were working on. This is the back of it now. And this is the other piece that we have yet to do. And this is the back of it. So this is more so what it looked like beforehand and then after. And that was only hitting it with the 1000 grit sandpaper. I have yet to switch to, you know, I'm sorry, that was only hitting it with the 240. I have yet to, you know, work my way up to the 1000, but that's what I'm going to do here. Get both of these pieces ready. Um, you know, just, I don't know, maybe another 30 minutes or so of sanding. And then I still have to do the front a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. All right, so I just finished sanding the back of these and getting all of the support material off. It didn't take as long as I thought, and just I know next time, well, since I have my uh, support settings done incorrectly now, they will not be a problem in the future, but this is what they look like now. And actually, I didn't show you guys before, but the two pieces go together, but with the supports on, they would not go together. So now you can see this piece comes right in here, and boom, it makes an entire mask that goes on your face. So now we're gonna go ahead and whoops, <laughs> pretty sturdy, sturdable. And we're gonna sand down the front, try to remove these lines as much as we can, um, hit it with the 240, 260, what did I say? Uh, as you can see, this one is pretty worn up and that's just from sanding the back of this because PLA is very sturdy. So we're gonna go ahead, sand down the front of this use our two different, well, all of our different grits, and I will show you the for and the after once it's done. So go ahead and get this image marked into your brain so you can see now what it looks like before, and then I will show you the after. guys so I just finished going through all the different grits I went from 260 all the way up to 1000 and it feels noticeably different obviously I can't uh, portray to you like that you guys have to just feel it the difference the difference between the back which was only 260 and the difference between 260 all the way up to 1000 you as you can see there's some red on the print and that's just because that's the color of the uh, sandpaper maybe I left it in those areas a little bit too long but that's fine because we're gonna paint this anyways. Well, you know, if it was, I'm not gonna paint this whole thing, but if I normally was, I'd be painting the whole thing and it'd be going over it, so that's no problem. But this is now completely sanded, completely smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think try to color one side. So we're gonna switch to upstairs and get that part done. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are now back upstairs in the studio. We have our kindred pieces, as you can see. They are sanded, they're good to go, they fit together. So we're gonna go ahead and color them. Um, try to cover up maybe a few of these uh, red patches, a few of the red patches with a uh, white marker, well, white paint. Um, if I can find it, I think one fell off the table. Yeah, it's somewhere over there. I'll pick that up in a second, but yeah, we're gonna use these colors, maybe a bit of blue, light blue, I don't know. So let's go ahead and color these and see how they come out after they've been sanded. <laughs> So I just finished up painting this one. I ran out of basically blue in uh, my marker here. This is probably why you should spray paint these things because these don't have a ton of you know paint in them and they're really good just for touching up. But this is what I had, so this is what I used. 
I also went ahead and did the white one. There was a few areas where I got some blue from here onto there, but I'd be spray painting this normally and that wouldn't be a problem. And going together, this is what our final product looks like. So it looks absolutely phenomenal. I really, really like it. Flip it around another angle for you guys. Front, the back. Alrighty then, so here we have it, the final finished Kindred, Kindred mask product. I really like the way it came out. Um, I ended up running out of blue, as I said in this, but in general, I would spray paint this and not use colored paint markers because it's just a lot easier to spray paint it, but didn't have spray paint on me, so we had to opt for this. If you guys like this video, definitely please leave a like and a comment. I would love to hear what you guys think about it. You know, if you have any questions about 3D printing, anything like that, I would love to see it in the comment sections below. Don't forget, I'm also still doing the giveaway, which I think ends on the 27th or 28th of this month for those two Jinx pistols, you know, one for one person, one for another. Definitely enter that contest. Just search on my channel for giveaway. And as always, please like and subscribe, as I said, and stay boundless. See you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>